Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Mike B, here with a kind of cool video today, something a little bit different. Um, so as you guys know, I have a little military surplus business that I run full time, and I constantly source weird, cool things that uh, I can sell. So I decided to kind of roll the dice on this particular item, and I'm going to open it, and we're both going to see it for the first time, what it is. Um, I know what it is, I've just never actually handled it. So we've got, uh, you know, this bandage, cotton, plaster of Paris, fast setting, and waterproof bag, blah, blah. So what this is is essentially, from what I understand, plaster of Paris is like kind of this paper mache, strong paper mache material that they used to make uh, casts out of. So apparently this is like uh, something they would use in the military. Um, this is dated June 15th, 1955. So uh, Korean era, you know, post-Korean, and then they were probably using Vietnam for setting bones and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this baby open. I haven't opened it yet. Um, let's try that again. I'm going to make sure I'm badass and get it in the frame. All right. So we're going to pop open this box and see what we've got. And we might actually, I might actually take one of these out and wet it down. I just got to have the instructions. I'm sure they have the instructions on there. All right. Very cool. So yeah, this is what we've got on the inside. That's pretty cool. We got 12 of these bad boys. I'm going to take one of these out and kind of look at what we've got to work with here. Yeah, okay. So you can see right away that it's got this, it kind of feels powdery and chalky. So I'm sure you have to, okay, I'm just going to read the, um, I'm just going to read the instructions quick. Bag may be used as a receptacle for wedding bandage. Add a half a pint of water and allow to soak 10 seconds. Do not destroy bag. Bag may be reused as a waterproof container. Where you close by twisting open end. Secure. Oh, okay. So the bag is actually part of the uh, tool. Well, that's what we've got. You got 12 of these guys, right? Just because something's old doesn't mean it's bad and, you know, outdated and all that stuff. These are brand new, and I'm going to actually... It's going to make a mess, but... I'm going to move my filming location to an area where I can, you know, safely have water and this gunk dripping everywhere. And we're going to make ourselves a cast. Oakley Dokley. We are now back and we're in the bathroom right now. And we're going to be taking this plaster of Paris bandage and making a cast. Got to get this out. I forgot my knife. So, um, so cut here to open, I guess you're supposed to cut it straight across or I don't know, but I don't know why it has the little dotted lines. So why don't we try that first? Okay. So let's see if that actually makes a difference. Anything? No, it doesn't look like it's really going to matter. It should just cut along the non dotted line. So. This thing is razor sharp. All right, so I've taken my watch off right here. You can see that. Um, I'm gonna move this box. And it says just add a half a pint of water and allow it to soak for 10 seconds. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we're going to take this sticky little thing out. Got this rubber band on it. Interesting. Now we're going to find the beginning, if I can. There we go. And I'm going to try to wrap a cast on my arm. And we'll see how we'll see how this works. I'm gonna kind of make it a little bit tighter, like you would on an actual cast. It smells like chalky dirt. It's pretty interesting. I 
There's a lot of this stuff. So kind of what I'm showing you, um, and I'm finding out myself, if this does work and it actually solidifies and gets kind of rigid and becomes a good thing, this is actually a really common and convenient lightweight thing to have in like a survival kit, you know, for the end times. If, uh, if you break a bone or something, you're not going to be able to go to the doctor and get a cast. So if this does work, I'm actually going to throw these up on the site as something that's useful. All right. So we're going to, I'm just going to hang out here. Well, I might actually just cut the video and even though you guys are just going to have to believe me that I didn't do anything to it. I'll just let it dry. Let's see. Fast setting and waterproof bag. Okay. So, oops, I'm gonna turn this water off. All right. I'm going to. I'm just going to kind of walk around for a little bit and um, get this thing to set. It's already, I mean, it's got some pressure on it, which is pretty cool. But yeah, we'll check in and I'll let you know how much time has passed. Hey guys, it's been about 20 minutes and it's starting to dry and get fairly uh, rigid. Um, sorry, let's see if I can focus on this. It's starting to get pretty rigid. Um, Still a little moisture in there. I'll check back. I'll give it like 10 more minutes and we'll see. Because I'm sure fast setting back then was not the same as it is now. But still 30 minutes for a cast, like that's pretty good. And then I'm going to I'm gonna cut it off and then we'll see how, um, how it looks after that. All right. So now it has been probably about 35, 40 minutes. And I think it's almost dry. It's pretty rigid in the places where I wrapped it um quite a few times and then where I was pretty thin on it. I mean, obviously I'm not a medical professional. I've never applied a cast before. I've gotten cast, but it's a long time ago and it's a little bit different when you're doing it to yourself. I'm sure if somebody else did it and they knew what they were doing and wrapped it tighter, this would be very rigid because right here, yeah, it's pretty dang rigid. Um, so I would say these are totally usable for the application of um, keeping bones from further breaking or whatever. I'm going to try to, oh, maybe that's not a good idea. Um, maybe try to get this off. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to take it off. Um, well, let me see here. It's flying everywhere. It'll be a mess. I'm trying to cut myself. All right. Getting there. It's actually fairly hard to cut through, which is a good thing. There we go. That's pretty wrapped pretty thin up here. All right. So obviously my arm's okay. Yeah, it's these are actually pretty cool. Um, again, I should have probably just wrapped it tighter because you can see right here it's it's actually pretty stiff. Um, it holds its form pretty well. Um, yeah, I mean this is gonna be this is gonna be the way to go in like a you know, shit hit the fan scenario, if you believe in all that stuff. Or even if you're just out and about and going out in the wilderness for a long period of time, might not be a bad idea. These are really lightweight. Um, you know, before you add water to them, they're, they're just like a little bit heavier bandage, like gauze bandage. And uh, they're pretty small and compact. So yeah, even though they're from 1955, they're like brand new. They work really well. Um, maybe I should just do some research on actually how to wrap a cast. And maybe grab a couple of these and throw it in my little, my little outdoor trekking bag. So, all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Kind of a new, different video. I was kind of excited about these. Uh, I'll be throwing these bandages up on the site individually. And we'll see how it goes. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Consider supporting the channel or buying something from my online store. And uh, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe. All that fun stuff. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.